budget gaming mouse come in different sizes and forms. And here we've got the Abcom Core Astra M30. Now, if you're interested in purchasing it, the locally link in the description below will take you to your localized Amazon store. And if you'd like more information about it, do check out Abcon Core's website. Now, before jumping into this video overview and unboxing, I'd like to thank Abcon Core for actually sponsoring this video. So first off, let's get the mouse out of the box and show you what's inside. So I'm just gonna open the box now. And with the box out of the way, as you can see, you've got a set of manual uh, and you've also got a little CD disc and you can download the software via Abcon Core's website as well. So you might want to bear that in mind. And then you've got the mouse itself as you can see it's a wired USB mouse So with the packaging out of the way, let's get on to the mouse itself now The mouse has got a 90 gram weight. It's not customizable So just worth bearing that in mind and in terms of the dimension of the mouse It'll be on your screen right now So you can see how it fits in terms of my hand It's around 18 centimeters from the top to the bottom and you can see over here how it kind of looks like so Hopefully you can put this across to your hand and also give you an idea as to how it also look like now in terms of buttons There are two on the left Left hand side and one at the top and of course you've got your default left and right mouse button including the scroll wheel. Underneath the mouse you've got a um, kind of dial in order to you to adjust the polling rate so you can do that um, separately from the software. You've also got two mouse pads over here which allow for you gliding around the mouse pad and then you've got a, a non-detachable USB cable that is around 1.8 meters long. It's got a rubbery feel to it. Now with the mouse plugged in what you'll be able to see is that you've got R RGB lights that stem from the side of the mouse, the back of the mouse, and indeed the other side as well, including the scroll wheel. We'll get to customization through the software in just a bit. As you can see, it's got an optical sensor, and it can be it can be seen with a red light underneath it. Now, the optical sensor that's actually being used um, is the Avagio ADNS 3050. In terms of DPI, you've got up to 3,500 DPI to play around with, and in terms of the polling rate, it's 1,000 hertz as well. Now, with that out of the way, now I'm just going to go quiet and you guys can hear the buttons for yourselves. Now with that sound demo out of the way, let's get on to the software. Now on the left hand side you can see you can customize the buttons. So for example, if we choose number 4 over here, which is the left side button, you can change it to a key combination, set a macro, or indeed set like, let's say, pre-assigned one. So for example, multimedia, if you listen to music, then that can be handy. You've got three profiles also to choose from, and you can set them, save them, and delete them. And on the right hand side you've got DPI levels, so you've got seven DPI levels, the minimum being four, um, 500, and then you can increase it in terms of small DPI increments so it's just worth bearing that in mind um, so you can see over here that you can't manually adjust it but it goes up and down in 250 um, DPI increments and then in terms of lighting you've got the different levels to choose from so for example it's on color steady right now a uh, color streaming sorry and if I were to let's say change it to neon and where to hit apply um, it will reflect on the mouse itself in terms of the kind of neon look to it you can also increase or decrease the speed and again if you hit apply it's going to apply straight to the mouse and indeed you can probably see it on your screen it starts flashing a lot a uh, lot faster it doesn't mouse parameters is to do with your window settings but you can set the scrolling speed the mouse sensitivity and of course the double click speed as well so there we have it that's been my unboxing and overview of the Astra M30 if you've got any questions ask me down in the comment section below and if you like this video make sure you give it a like subscribe to see more and of course favor and share to help the channel grow all right guys I've been totally dubbed take care and bye bye